Hello lovely ladies and gents, welcome back to my channel. Now I go thrift shopping a lot and today I thought I'd take you through my latest thrift haul and show you what I got. Now if we haven't met yet, my name is Evelyn Wood and I'm a vintage styled dressmaker. And I do here on YouTube a lot of vintage refashions. So I go shopping in thrift stores and then I take them home and I refashion them into beautiful vintage styled outfits. That series is called Thrift to Vintage and if you're into that, you might wanna check that out. But this is where it all starts. So I recently went to this warehouse sale. Now this was called the world's biggest garage sale. That's what it's actually called and it was enormous it lived up to its name so let me show you what I got what I plan to do with them how to style things let's start off in the kitchen and then I'll show you all the clothing uh, so I don't know I can't remember all the individual prices but it was all about $35 roughly. So I have a collection of these jars that my mum gave me. They're made in France, uh, very old, and I keep all my sort of dried pantry, pantry items in them. And so to find another one that matches my set, just love. This one here is also mum's, but I thought I would show you. So it's a little fish that I think you put your little lemon wedge in and squish it, and then the juice pours out the little fish's mouth. Yeah, it's adorable, isn't it? Sadly, mum saw that one first, so that's mum's. Little tiny tea strainer. These are actually very hard to get, so when you see them for about 50 cents, I always get them. I got some obviously very real, enormous pearl clip-on earrings. I needed a new pair of big pearls, so these are great. They do need a bit of a clean, though. Found this corn dish, of course, to put my corn in. I mean, what else do you put your corn in, right? Okay, and then out of the kitchen, I got some doilies, of course. So this beautiful handmade crocheted one. And then I've got uh, this pressed linen one. So I actually think I might use this for sort of like a collar again or something like that. And then these, um, they all came in a bag together. So I've got for the trim around here, I might actually use uh, for some crochet types. There's actually three of those, or I might actually use them in my home unsure but they all sort of come together so okay so I got three uh, vintage slips so I wear these uh, nylon slips pretty much every day under all of my clothing um, unless in summer when it gets quite hot and then I'll just wear like the half slip uh, for the skirt um, in summertime but there's another one there ah now I got this lovely pleated skirt so this is polyester so it does break my polyester rule but polyester on the bottom is okay uh, if it's really pretty <laughs> a couple of scarves here so I am really looking for these sort of like long rectangular ones um, now like this so that I can do that sort of um, more of that uh, 1920s kind of hair scarf look is what I'm really into so I just adore these colors they'll go with what I have in my wardrobe already that's fantastic and I got this gold one, which I just love. And then I found this. Now I do usually um, like these, but I pretty much got this one for the trim and the fringing. So this was way cheaper than buying fringing by itself. Okay, this is spectacular. So this was $5. Vintage, I can tell by the label is aged and just says 36 and it's cotton. Uh, this has, it's got shoulder pads inside and it is all silk it is all lined and there's a lot of hand stitching in it as well it is made beautifully the pockets in here as well there's just a little bit of damage through here this side has obviously just had a bit more sunlight and is maybe a bit shredded um, but it's only a small amount and for five dollars I thought this was beautiful uh, I plan on either wearing it as like a 1920s kind of um, you know, oriental style, um, you know, light jacket, or if it's a bit too ready to end up wearing out, I'll just wear it at home as like just a nightgown at home. 
Next up, another skirt. This one here is a cotton skirt with these pleats. Now this one does have a number of um, sort of brown stains in it, but I actually think they look like they will come out. So I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to soak those ones out. But otherwise this one will just be perfect in my wardrobe with all the navy blues that I wear. Superb. This one here is just a little sleeveless rayon top. I plan on probably um, shortening this and turning it into like a um, tie up front number for summer when it's really hot. And now this one here I actually had to haggle someone for. We literally, it was one of those moments where you, you know, you both um, like touch it at the same time and you realize you're both grabbing it and you look at each other and you sort of like, uh -huh. except I grabbed it more. <laughs> so I won. <laughs> it was a good thing because it is an actual vintage dress. This is a 1950s dress. All the seams are unfinished inside. Uh, there is a little tag on it. Uh, these pockets, look at these, beautiful shape. Unfortunately though, it is really actually quite short in the, the bodice section. So the waist on me sits up really high. So I actually think, and the skirts I think has been shortened over time. So it's a little bit short. So instead of making a skirt out of this, I think what I might do is actually make a top because it's beautiful. It just wraps over and it is divine. So I think I might keep the wrap top and keep like a band to, to lower the waistline for me and keep a band down the bottom so that it ties up and big sort of tie bows. That's what I'm thinking with that one, but it's beautiful cotton fabric. This here is not my usual colors that I like to wear, but it, the fabric is a beautiful rayon. It is so soft, sort of 50s in sort of style with that sort of fitted and flared. Now I will probably I just like this one for a nice light summer dress, sleeveless because it's really hot where I live. And I'll probably do a bit of tailoring and shaping to this one. I'm not sure exactly yet, but I'll see once I fit it on and see how it goes. Looks like the last one. And this little sort of caftan number here. I just love it. It is cotton, so really great for my weather here. It's kind of just, yeah, just this here. So it's big and boxy and really blah right now. But what I plan to do is probably similar to that sort of 1920s refashion I've done before. I think I will take off the um, sleeves and make it sleeveless, um, take in the bodice section and then cut in and gather up the sides. So I've got these like side gathers on a straight front panel. That's what I'm thinking. So stay tuned for a refashion on that one. Now I do have one last thing I'll show you. This is sadly, this is one that mum got to first again. It is a little filing cabinet, but it's made of metal. I know, I wish I found this first. Okay, I think that is all of my haul. Well, this is the halfway point anyway. There is a part two to this particular haul. I had to split it up because I just got so much stuff. Now, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching what I got, having a little peek through, a little insight into what I might do to them. And so on that, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to actually see how I refashion these and uh, you know how I style them in future videos and how I wear them and turn them into beautiful vintage style outfits. And if you like this video, please like it. Thank you so very much for watching and until next time, bye. I mean, what else do you put your corn in, right? Of course, that's what you need a corn dish for, to put your corn on the cobs on, because it's a corn. You don't have one of these? <laughs>